Hale Kyo Pryoch Jug Hale Tomato Clinic. How are everybody and welcome to Tomato Clinic. Um, this seems to be a game about a vampire blood donor place, so it seems like it'll be interesting. Apologies if the music is too loud, um, but hopefully it won't disturb when we get in. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, I can name myself. Ooh. Hoan fills out a form with a smile. There, I got, I got the form all filled out. I really should have gotten that done before I actually come in here. Looks like nobody else is here, though, so I'm safe. It's weird, though, that there aren't any employees here yet, either, though. Would it be rude to just yell if anybody's in? I mean, if no being's here, then no being will think it's rude, right? Hello? Anybody? And, of course. A short young man, who looks distinctly displeased, comes to the counter. He's wearing a jacket that looks like has a tomato patch sewed onto it. Who are you, and why are you yelling? Ah, sorry, I didn't think anyone was in. Then why the he did you yell? Oh, I, just, I see what that's supposed to be. I don't know. I get nervous in unfamiliar, unfamiliar situations. Wait, what? I'm Hoan, here for the tour. This is Tomato Clinic, right? Oh, heck, is that today? What? Don't tell me I got the date wrong. I'm so sorry. I'll come back later. Or never, if that'd be better. Just calm down for a sec. Let me check the calendar. Oh, it does start today. Phew, I thought I, I screwed that up. I didn't see any other students here, so I thought maybe I had the wrong place. That's because you're the only one who signed up. <laughs> Wait, you're not joking? Nope, it's just you. Mari said that we didn't get any other applications. Who's Mari? My boss. She should be here any minute. Why is it so cold? A young woman in a shirt that also has a tomato patch on it suddenly jumps out. Welcome. You must be here for the tour. What? Where'd you come from? Boss, if you're going to scare away our only applicant if you keep jumping out like that. I'm just trying to be friendly. Oh, wait. I forgot to ask. Do you have any application? Do you have your application form? Y yes, right here. Mm-hmm, so your name is Hoan. Yes, that's me. Cool, my name's Mari. Nice to meet you. Gakuto, did you introduce yourself yet? I would have, but you jumped to attack me. Gakuto, that's no excuse to be rude. Ugh, my name's G Gakuto. Nice to meet you, I guess. Nice to meet both of you. I'm excited to be here. You know what we do here, then. I did some research ahead of time, but there wasn't too much on the website. It's a b blood donation clinic, right? God. Gakudo. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Why did you come for our tour if the idea makes you uncomfortable? Yes, this is a blood donation clinic. Yes, both me and Mari are vampires. You have a problem with that? N no, I, I just haven't been to a place like this before. I'm a bit nervous, that's all. Gakuto, don't be so mean. Don't you worry about it, Hoan. We're pretty new to this, too. Actually, you're our very first Tori. Uh, Taurus. How's that supposed to be reassuring? Anyhow, anyone... No... Oh, anyway, no point in talking out here. Let's head inside let, so we can talk a bit more about what we do. Follow me. Mari disappears as quickly as she came. You can put your backpack down behind the counter if you want to carry it. If you don't want to carry it. Oh, that'd be... Before Hoan can finish, Gakuto leaves as well. Great, thanks. I guess I should follow them in. Hoan heads to the next room, but for some reason, it's empty. It looks like a little cafe. Huh? Where did they... Mari jumps out with a grin on her face. So what did you think? G uh, what what I think of what? This room. Oh, um, it's very nice. It feels kind of homey. It's kind of different, though, than what I expected, though. The boy I, I, I can't read. <laughs> different? Well, it looks kind of, well, it looks kind of like a cafe. Oh, that's because it is a cafe. I think I've ruined the point. <laughs> huh? I thought this was a blood donation clinic. It is, but it also functions as a cafe. When I start at this place, my goal is to make it a place where people can relax. Blood donations sound really scary, right? Adding vampires just makes it scarier. 
What? No, that's not... It's okay. I know mo most humans are afraid of us. That's part of why I started this place. I want to make a place where humans could get to understand vampires a bit better. And that's why I've prepared... This. What is this? <laughs> a quiz on vampires. It's very short, so don't worry. And it's okay if you get things wrong. We just want to check on what people's general knowledge of vampires is. Just shout out my name when you're done. Mari disappears as suddenly as she arrived. Where did she go? I guess I should fill this quiz out, though. It does, doesn't look too long, so it should be okay. Let's see. Oh, nice. Multiple choice. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> um, where do vampires get most of their nutrition? Um, I would say a variety. Feels like I might be one of those trick questions. Yeah, I'll go with this answer. Let's check out the next question. What, vamp what happens to vampires when exposed to sunlight? Mm. They get sunburns. I think this one makes the most sense. Yeah, turning to dust is a bit much, but there's probably some truth behind the rumor, right? Hmm, let's take a look at the next one. What have ward off vampires? Hmm. None of the above. It feels like the other answer is too cheesy to be true, so it should be the right one. Hmm, I'm not too sure about my answer. No point worrying about it though, I guess. On to the next question. Where do vampires sleep? Um... Beds, of course. Coffins feel a bit too on the nose, and everyone has to sleep sometimes, right? Oh, it looks like the next question is the last one. What can vampires turn into? Bats. Last option makes me think, but traditionally people say vampire turn into bats. Anyways, that's all the questions. I should call for... What was her name again? Uh, Mari? Mari pops out in front of who knows... Out of no who knows where. Are you finished, Hoan? Ah! Uh, I mean... Yes, I'm finished. Great, let me just check your answers then. Hmm. 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 So how did I do? Why, why don't we go through the questions together? Well, first off, about vampire nutrition. While it makes sense you'd think vampires would get their nutrition from various sources, we actually do get most of our nutrition from blood. Is it okay for me to ask? How does it work exactly? Hmm, it'd be a really lengthy explanation if I get into it. Like, think of how you eat food and your body turns to, uh, to energy for you. Right. For us, we do the same, just with blood. While we can eat regular food, too, we don't process it well. It's kind of just like junk food to us. Oh, so it doesn't really give you any nutrition you need. Exactly. I'm glad you get it. So for question two... Good job, you got this one right. We vampires get sunburns if we're in the sun too long. How is How long is too long? Well, it depends on the vampire. Most of us will get bad sunburns in less than ten minutes. Less than ten minutes? Do you just stay inside all the time? Nah, we just use sunscreen and high SPF. That makes sure to cover our skin as much as possible when heading out into our day. All the windows at the Mayo Clinic are especially made to cut to cut UV too. This way we can enjoy daylight without the sunburns. I thought vampires like the night. <laughs> no, we're just forced to only go out at night before. Now we have modern technology to help us. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right? I, I love this so much. It's so sweet and so happy. Let's get to the next question. Nice, that's two you've got right so far. The answer to what ward off vampires is none of the above. There's no one thing that you can use to ward away vampires. Like how there's no one thing you can use to ward away humans. And why people think that stuff like cross and garlic will work? I think that's just one of those weird urban legends. After all, it's very easy to come up with things like this if you don't know any vampires in real life. Huh. Moving on to the sleeping question. Nice, you got another one right. We vampires just sleep in beds. Vampires get aches and pains just like humans. So honestly, coffins would be pretty uncomfortable. Oh, I thought that... I guess that's true. Now for the last question. We can't actually turn into bats. You can't? Nope. That, how would that even work? <clears throat> we actually can't turn into anything. Yeah, I guess that's kind of a stupid question. No questions are stupid. But the quiz said... That was just go Gakuto. I think he was annoyed. He thought the, quest, the quiz was a stupid idea. I think it's a nice way of teaching people about vampires, though. What do you think? As of our as our first human quiz taker, I thought it was nice. It helped correct a lot of my assumptions. I'm glad. I'll be I'll be sure to let Kuto know too. 
I asked him to write the questions and he was very annoyed about it. I'm sure he'll be happy to know his work was worthwhile. Will he... He didn't seem very cheerful earlier. Oh, that's just how he is, don't worry. Anyway, let's check your score. You got 3 out of 5 questions right. Oh, that's better than I expected. Yeah, you did pretty well. I'll give you a chance to try again later too. Hopefully you'll remember the answers next time. So now that we've got our icebreaker done through, done though, we start one of our vampire culture experiences. What? For the tour. You didn't think it was all going to be quizzes, did you? Honestly, I wasn't really sure what I signed up for. Well, soon, soon you can find out. We have a lot of fun activities set up for you. Oh, or Gakuto has at least. I'll go get him. Mari runs off through a different door. Mari seems very energetic. It's nice. This whole place is pretty nice, actually. The decor is cute and the general atmosphere is relaxing. <laughs>